right, so at this point, I'm a couple hours into the build. I've kind of taken my time and read through the instructions. Did have to go back and change a couple of things. But pretty much everything mechanical is assembled. Now all that's left to do is the control board and then hook up all the electronics to it. Let's go do it. Now there are heat sinks that we do have to place on each one of the stepper drivers. So I'm going to do that while I have it out. Alright, the mount that they gave with the motherboard doesn't look anything like the picture. So it's taken me a little bit to figure out exactly what's what. But that pad's going to go on there like that. And then the motherboard's going to screw in like that. And then it's going to go inside the machine and bolt to the out inside of it. So I'm going to get that done now. Okay, control board in. That was a little bit of a pain in the butt, considering where it was and having to get the, the T nuts way down on that little spot, but a little persistence and, and you'll get it. Alright, so next I gotta start to hook up all the electronics to the motherboard. And for orientation purposes, as the motherboard's facing us, we have a flat surface. This is X. Y, Z, and of course this is E. So I've got those three stepper motors plus the extruder motor, the limit switches for X, Y, and Z. Um, extruder cooling fan, part cooling fan. and the extruder he heater as well as a thermistor and that's pretty much oh and then the display has to get hooked up as well so we're going to finish the electronics and this thing should be close to being finished here we go X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. All right, so the limit switches are gonna go down here on the opposite side. And you're gonna to wanna to go on the X, Y, and Z plus. And you're also gonna to want to be on the far left two pins as I'm facing it with the USB connector facing me. Left two pins, X plus, Y plus, Z plus. X, Y, Z. Alright, now we gotta hook up all the stuff from the actual hot end, which is gonna be the heater, the thermistor, the part cooling fan, and the extruder cooling fan. Wire management's gonna be an issue at this point, so 
I'm going to do a little bit of wire management. Okay, so the park cooling fan is going to go to fan zero. There you go. And then fan two is going to be for the extruder cooler. So this is the extruder cooler. All the way down to fan two. Park cooling fan is going to fan zero. That thermistor is going to connect over on this connection right there. Focus T zero. And then lastly, the extruder heater is going to go on to heater zero. Okay, next we're going to put the bed on. That requires these, and there's actually a left and a right. So you just want to make sure that you orientate them correctly. And it'll hold on the circle. Okay, so let's get the LED screen hooked up and then we're pretty much at the final stages. Alright, everything's wired up, so the only thing left to do would be turn it on and see whether or not it's going to home. 
But then we've got to do some firmware tweaking and attaching it to the computer. And I'm going to save that for part three. Let's turn it on first. All right, it turned on. There's only one thing I'm gonna do before I do connect it. And let us auto home. And it's homed. So stay tuned for part three where I'm gonna hook it up to the computer and we're gonna do some firmware adjustments and programming and make sure everything is good there as well as we're gonna have to use the computer to get our Z offset. So stay tuned for more videos on this subject as well as other 3D printing and metal casting videos coming your way from inside the mind of Matt. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, set your notifications so you know when my next video is coming out. Check out all my links down in the description and keep on coming back for more Inside the Mind of Matt. Happy printing and be safe pouring.